we are going to create an acrylic pour. Um, we had this art piece for a while and we are going to paint over it. We have already mixed our paints with some Floetrol and some silicone and we're going to attempt to create like a cool marbling effect with it. So let's get started. So we'll start off with the dirty pour. So we started with some yep. blue. We have some gold. We have metallic, metallic blue, blue and metallic green blue. Yeah, we have Oil. a navy blue and black as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we mix it all up. So we all add it into this cup to create a dirty pour. What shall our first color be, Tommy? Let's go with blue and the green. Just a little bit and then we can do different layers yeah, different of it. Layers of it. Let's add some black. I wanna, can I do some gold? Yeah, go with the gold. Add a little bit of shine. Let's go with the navy blue. Navy blue. Ooh, it's a little purpley. <laughs> oh wow. Add the blue. Maybe a little more black. Yes. Alright. Green. Come back blue. So that's it for a second. Okay. While we get this one out too. Acrylic pour is seriously the best way to use up all of your old paints. <laughs> At first I thought this would be like a big waste of paint. Because we is. have to use a lot of paint. Uh-huh. But oh, wait want, for the effect. Alright. We have a whole cup of paint here too. We're gonna basically pour two full cups of paint onto Damn. this canvas. <laughs> That's not milk. <laughs> Have a sip. Okay. Right. Then let's use the rest of this guy. Okay. Did you want to scrape that one down too? Yeah. Full effect. Bam. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you want to stack the paints on top of each other without it mixing too much, you can just shake the cup back and forth so it's like a lighter surface area. But if you want the paint to go deep, you just pour it down in one spot. What's the next color? Alright, um, a little more blue, blue. And a little bit of black. Just a touch. Just a touch. Cap blue. Back. Okay. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna need a lot of space for this, so ah. go ahead and start putting them away. Okay. Just paints away. Shoot. And the secret ingredient is the super lube. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just use one drop and you don't have to get the super fancy artist silicone. You can just get like regular car lube. They all work exactly the same. Just this one's way cheaper. <laughs> all right. Get more bang for your buck. <laughs> I'm trying not to get everything like dirty. <laughs> my hands are so... But you are. But I am. You can mess. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to keep... We're gonna do a flip. Bam! Right, right in the center. Okay. Okay. So here's the moment of truth. Oh wait. Here, I'll hold it for you. Oh! <gasps> oh my God, I'm stuck. Okay, okay, okay. Let go, let go. All right. Now it's gonna stay there. So now milk. You take the milk <laughs> and pour it all around the side. We have a full cup, so you can pour a lot, quite a bit. Whoa. But remember, you have to keep it concentrated enough so we can fold it over. Yeah. Over. So that's why we're gonna have to kind of kind spread of it. Spread it. So let's straight back here. Okay. Any spots that seem kind of empty. <laughs> Should be empty. It better be. If it's not, <laughs> dude, if this is not enough paint. I would right. be very poorly. Do the reveal. Okay. One, two, three. Whoa, you can already see some cells forming side. here. Oh, on the side here. Wow, that's so pretty. It's like, it almost looks like, like a peacock. The colors of a peacock. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. This is so much paint that the entire canvas is like sinking under it. So the technique that we learned is we're gonna scrape the white to fold over the colored paint. It's fixing a hole in my office. Oh, the so dry. The knives. <laughs> <laughs> you can use anything. One of my when boys. It comes to art, I guess. So we'll take this. We'll just fold it. Oh, so there you go. Part of this is like getting this whole thing. <laughs> Don't worry if it doesn't look too great at first, we will be uh, moving it around quite a bit. <laughs> this is like the weirdest. We're making an omelette? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, we're almost there. Ah! You can just do it that last spot. My thing got contaminated, so. <laughs> I guess I'll just paint the edges too, so that all the edges are kind of green. I just want to make sure the corners are covered, that's all. Teamwork. <laughs> Can I try getting that one? I think I'm at a better angle for it. So like you fold this and kind of swipe it over. Yeah. A little bit. That's okay. All right, good enough. All right. All right, so let's move it around. A mess here. Wow, that's a lot of paint. Just gonna keep moving it. Get the torch. Okay, I'm gonna let it settle for a little bit while Tommy gets the torch. I'm gonna torch it so that the cells open up and when we move it to the corners, it'll create a cool You're gonna need a torch. Lacing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, a little farther up. I do two corners and you do two corners. Okay. Go to Cover the edges too. Yeah, that's fine. Just let it go. Bam. Oops. And the edges. <laughs> yeah, I think could just scoop up some of the side paint and just make our own design. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's nice now. Yeah, it's okay. a river. Okay, just leave it. <laughs> Don't touch it. High five. High five. <laughs> It feels so squishy. If you feel like it's too smooth, you can always give it a blow job. <laughs> Lower it. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Final torch. Yay! Oh my god. So you don't want to blow it too hard in one place. Or get it too hot. The last time I... We burnt the painting! We burned the paint. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Alright. Ta-da! Ta-da. Wow. Our masterpiece. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, Tommy and I had so much fun making this. It was the biggest piece we've ever made. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I hope you have an awesome day.